Hello and welcome. My name is John Dries and I'm the creator of DesignFoil, which is a very easy to use airfoil software package. Today I'm going to show you how to use it to run an airfoil analysis in about two minutes. Let's get started. First, we need an airfoil. For our test airfoil, I've chosen the NACA 0012, which is one of the most popular airfoils in aeronautical history. Here we are in the DesignFoil environment. I'm going to click on Airfoil, NACA Airfoils, NACA 4 digit, and here we see a NACA 2412. With just two clicks, it becomes the NACA 0012. Get ready to start your clocks. We're about to run the analysis. Click on Tools Analysis, Virtual Wind Tunnel. Here is our virtual wind tunnel. It's currently set at zero degrees and a Reynolds number of about three million. I'm just going to follow these instructions. Push the green button to run analysis. Here we see a pressure coefficient distribution. If I click on the V over V tab, I see a velocity distribution. And the boundary layer distribution shows me that I have some laminar boundary layer before it trip, uh, trips to turbulent. But you're probably more familiar with the drag puller, so let's push the Create New 2D Drag Puller plot. And here we have it. It's By default, it's displayed in the Epler format. You can see that the pitching moment coefficient is uh, pretty much zero, which I would expect with a, for a symmetric airfoil. Or you can click on the classic NACA format, which is much closer to what you'll see in the back of Abbott and von Dohenhoff. Uh, but you know what? We have a little more time. Let's push this clo uh, close button. Let's generate a NACA 6 series, which is known for their um, laminar boundary layer. Okay, this one currently is set at about 50% for the minimum pressure location. Let's go ahead and push to run analysis. Okay, what do we see here? We see that the pressure coefficient does not bottom out until at around 40 or 50%. Let's take a look at the V over V. We see the airflow is uh, accelerating to about 40 or 50%. And the boundary layers, we see that it is laminar all the way back to about mid-cord before it starts tripping to turbulent. Uh, but let's run the 2D uh, drag puller plot. And uh, hey, this is pretty cool. We can see the drag bucket here. Uh, you can see it a little better on the Epler format. There's a drag bucket that we would expect from a 6 series airfoil. Now, if you like this data, you can export it really easy to Excel. You just push Send All to Excel. Uh, and there are two tabs here, uh, one for each airfoil. And that's just about it. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration of just how easy it is to use DesignFoil for analysis. For more information about which version of DesignFoil is right for you, please visit the website at designfoil.com.